So Harry, welcome to Talk United. How are you setting in? Really well. No, the lads are great. Um, fans have welcomed me more than I could ask for. I've had loads of loads of messages, positive messages. But no, love it, love it. Now it looked like on playing uh, play more on Saturday that you had the uh, perfect dream debut, keeping a clean sheet. Is that how it felt? Yeah, obviously the first first few minutes were a bit shaky because obviously it's my debut. Um, but no, you couldn't ask for any more. Uh, the lads were great. Everyone worked hard, pressing the ball. Obviously, keeping the clean sheet as well is massive, especially for a debut. Uh, but no, I think everyone worked together, and me and Sinks and Neil. I think we gelled really well with the team. Now you've obviously had a, a bit first team football at Accrington already this season, yeah. but this is your first major uh, loan spell out. So you had a brief spell at Southport, but obviously the season was then cut yeah. out. Uh, you couldn't really have picked much further in the country to have gone. Does, has that phased you at all, Harry? No. No, I think. To be honest, I think I would have moved anywhere. Um, so I, I just need regular men's competitive football. Um, obviously, it gives me the independence as well that I've been after. Living, obviously live, living with the lads, but cooking for myself and cleaning for myself. Um, but it's, it's a long way, a long way from home. But I think it is needed um, for what I want to do in my career. Obviously, it's a part of football. Now you played in centre back on Saturday, but I understand that you've got uh, plenty of different positions that you played. It sounds like you've played in most positions at the back and also in, in midfield as well. How did you find the partnership between you and Joe on Saturday? Yeah, I, th I think we worked well. Um, we had a, well, we had last week's training together, um, but no, I, th I think we worked really well together. Loads of communication, and I think the way Joe plays is very similar to me. Um, he's very aerial, strong. Um, and he loves, he loves to step in. Uh, he, d he did it a few times against Haven't. Um, but no, I, think, I think it works really well, and it's obviously the communication side and the, the partnership is going to grow over the season. Now, the gaffer, uh, Gary Johnson, says when he has, brings anybody in, whether they're in on loan or whether they're a permanent, uh, a permanent player at Playmore, so he very much prides himself on talkifying uh, the players that come in. And uh, do you feel that that's been done yet? How are you getting in, uh, getting on with your new teammates in training? Because you've had a few sessions now. Yeah, yeah. No, I, they're all so good. Um, literally, the, fir the first day I came in, everyone was so welcome. Uh, I trained the day after. I uh, had a lot of good chats with the lads, sort of, discuss Naki and and here and I think over the season there's going to be friendships built and you know for even even now I can see long-term friendships in the group. Now you were also saying as well that um, this is the first time on Saturday uh, that you're actually playing in front of home supporters uh, from the start because when you've actually played for Acton before it's either been behind closed doors yeah. Um, or it's actually been at, a, at an away ground. So that must have been something special as well, especially as with the community day taking place at Playmore. You had home supporters on your side all around the ground. That must have helped things along. Yeah, no, I loved it. Um, obviously, the, fa the fans are, are great. You couldn't ask for anything more. Um, throughout, throughout the game, you could see them, the build-up getting more and more as we were scoring and celebrating with them after the second goal. It's just... It's something people dream of, celebrating in front of home fans. Um, but no, I loved it. I loved every second of it. Did it also help as well that you had another debutant in the ranks with Sinclair Armstrong making his debut? I mean, you both enjoyed yourself. He scored, you kept a clean sheet. Uh, did that help things? Because it was nice photos of you both celebrating together yeah. the whole time. Yeah, no, we, we, we have a good, a good laugh, uh, me and Sinks. But I think, I think it, did, it did take a bit of pressure off, um, obviously, because we're both both new lads uh, coming to the team obviously don't want to take people's places but I think that the pressure got took off a bit obviously there's still pressure there to do well and do a job obviously win the game um, but I sort of think it gave both of us that trust in, in each other and in all the other players around us you had plenty of uh, supporters on your side on Saturday. I can't guarantee it might be the same with the race uh, horse ground on, uh, on Saturday when you go to Wrexham. Uh, are you looking forward to that challenge? Yeah, no, I think it'll be, be a massive game, especially for us. There's obviously a few, a few bad games on a run, um, but I think we're coming out the back end of it. Obviously after the win Saturday, 
think all our, all our confidence is up. Um, so now we'll put, we'll put on a good show. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll challenge. It, do, it doesn't matter how big the club is, how many fans there are. We'll, we'll put on a, a good show and really try and get the three points. Well, Harry, once again, thank, welcome to Playmore. Thank you for joining us and the very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.